next one is naming of the compounds having functional groups naming of the compounds having functional groups So, naming of the compounds having functional groups. Uh, first one and first thing is uh, selection of the longest chain. Here, selection of the longest chain. Here, we should select the longest chain. Our selection of the longest chain is uh, done in such a way to include the maximum number of the functional groups. So, here in this we should select the longest continuous carbon chain in such a way to include the maximum number of the functional groups. Maximum number of the functional groups we should take the in the longest continuous carbon chain. So, let us see one example. So, in this example first we should select the longest continuous carbon chain. So, according to this rule first we should select the longest continuous carbon chain including the maximum number of the functional groups. If functional group is present in the compound. So, in this example any functional group is there is there. So, that is the OH alcohol. So, here OH is the functional group which is present in this compound. So, based on this rule first we should select the longest continuous carbon chain to include the functional group that is nothing but OH or alcohol. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. According to previous rules here this is the longest chain without functional group and and with functional group this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in this two numberings uh, which one is the correct method? So, according to this rule we should give the numbering to select the maximum number of functional groups should be included in the longest continuous carbon chain. So, here OH group is included in the longest continuous carbon chain. So, this is with functional group and this is the numbering without functional group. So, this is the wrong method and this is the right method. So, OH group should be included in the selection of the longest continuous carbon chain. So, in such a way that maximum number of the functional group should be included in the longest continuous carbon chain. if uh, more than one functional group is present in the compound, if more than one functional group is present in the compound, then what we have to do? We should select the longest continuous carbon chain and it should uh, including uh, all the functional groups. So, all the functional groups should include in the longest continuous carbon chain. If the compound having more than one functional group, it should include maximum number of functional groups or all functional groups should be included or longest continuous carbon chain must have all the functional groups if more than one functional group is present. Let us see one example. Let us see this example. So, according to longest chain rule actually if straight chain having 6 carbon atoms, but here 2 double bonds are present in this compound. So, here more than one functional group is present. So, all functional group must be covered in the longest continuous carbon chain. That is why we should take the longest chain and it should include all the functional groups. 
So, all the functional groups must including in the longest continuous carbon chain. So, this is the longest chain we should select. So, like this we should consider all the functional groups must be present in the longest continuous carbon chain. And next thing is violation of the lowest sum rule. So, already we know what is the lowest sum rule. If more than one substituent is present, then we should give the numbering according to where the sum of the locants is lowest, sum of the locants should be lowest, then we should follow the numbering either from left to right or right to left. Actually, it is called lowest sum rule. So, according to lowest sum rule, sum of the locants should be lowest, but here we will violate the lowest sum rule where when the functional group is present in the compound, here violation of the lowest sum rule will be takes place. Let us see one example. Here what we have to do means if any functional group is present, we should give the minimum possible number to the functional group, minimum possible number to the functional group even if it violates the lowest sum rule, even if it violates the lowest sum rule, we should give the minimum possible number for the functional group which is present in the compound. Let us see one example. Yeah, if you observe in this compound, so actually we should give the numbering according to lowest sum rule. So, according to lowest sum rule, actually what we have to do here from left to right actually it is the longest continuous carbon chain. Then we should give the numbering from the left to right then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here some of the locants if you observe here 2, here 2 methyl groups are present on the second position. So, 2 plus 2 and another locant is 4 and total this is 8, some of the locants is 8. If that take the same compound C H 3 C. If you give the numbering from right to left here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here actually functional group is present in this compound. So, according to this rule, we should give the minimum possible number to the functional group which is present on which carbon on the parent chain that should have the minimum possible number. So, here the minimum possible number is 2. So, if you observe the sum of the locants in this compound here locant of methyl groups is 4 and 2 methyl groups are present. So, 4 plus 4 and another locant of the OH group is 2 and total is 10. So, according to lowest sum rule actually this is the lowest sum that is 8. So, actually we should follow this numbering, but if the compounds having functional groups and functional group should have minimum possible number that is here 2, then here, here it violates the lowest sum rule, it violates the lowest sum rule, but we should give the minimum possible number to the functional group, here functional group is OH. So, this is the correct method even if it violates the lowest sum rule and it is the wrong method because it should have the minimum possible number 2, but here uh, it has a 4, but here uh, minimum possible number is 2. So, functional group should have minimum possible number. So, this is the correct method to give the numbering and even if it violates the lowest sum rule. 